Welcome to the Pantheon Parenthetical. My name is Lance Ash. The stranger, Emil Fishwaste, rented rooms on one of the floors above the store. He had his own private entrance at the top of a flight of rickety stairs bolted to the outside of the store. Jack's father, Arnold, was seen bringing boxes to the rooms on several nights. Sometimes the boxes contained machine parts, scraps of metal, sometimes they contained old magazines like National Geographic or Popular Science. When asked about this by his son, Arnold would only say that he and the stranger had mutual interests. Fishwaste car was nowhere to be found. Nobody knew where he'd parked it, what he'd done with it. In addition, nobody knew what he'd done with the turtle he bought. One morning, Old Tusk went down to open the front door as usual, but Chuck Willow wasn't there waiting for him. He turned to a couple of the regulars who were already seated on the church pew, but they had no information regarding Chuck Willow's absence. One morning, Bob, passing through his kitchen, happened to notice the calendar and realized that summer was quickly coming to a close. Come the fall, he would be going to a school some miles to the west, while Jack would be going to a different school some miles to the east. The school district line passed between their two houses. He determined to make one final significant visit to see Jack. And during this visit, to obtain one last great revelation or insight or novelty because the possibility existed that his relationship was with Jack was also drawing to a close. While all this was happening, Sarge was making several daily trips to Black Bottom, most likely in search of another giant turtle. But who knows? And that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for listening.